In this video, I'll show you how to make this photo look better. Notice that the photo is quite red. The first thing I'm going to do is save the photo to my camera roll so I can bring it into InShot. By the end of the video, I'll let you know if it's worth it to upgrade to a pro version. You will need to upgrade to a pro version to use some of the filters in this tutorial as you can no longer purchase filters or other assets individually. At the end of the video, I will give you the name of another app I use on this channel that is completely free to use and has no in-app purchases or paid features. With that out of the way, let's get started. Tap photo and tap new and bring in the photo that you want to fix. Tap the check mark. This is one of my favorite photos. The first thing I'm going to do is adjust it. I'll tap on adjust and then tap on brightness. Bring it all the way up to the right hand side. Then I'll tap on warmth and do the same thing. When I tap on brightness, notice that the slider sits in the middle. To increase the brightness, bring the slider all the way to the right. To decrease it, bring it all the way to the left. Tap on warmth and do the same thing. The photo already looks a little bit better. You can add a filter to improve the photo even more. For the purposes of this tutorial, I only have two filter packs visible, the skin filters and the cinema filters. To add these filters, you need a pro version. However, you can add any filter that has a black bar underneath it for free. To select a skin filter, just tap on it and choose the one that looks best to you. I think number 5 is the one for this photo. Tap the filter to select it. And then tap this icon here to look at the original and see what the photo looks like with the filter. This will help you decide which filter to use. Once you've decided, tap on the check mark and export the photo to your camera roll by tapping on the share icon. This won't take long as it's a photo. Then go back into the project. To apply a different filter, scroll back to the left and choose original. Notice that original has a black bar. This means you can export the photo for free without a pro version. Next, let's scroll through the cinema filters and take a look at those. Once more, tap on each filter to select it and choose the best one. I think the fifth filter looks the best. Use the slider above to adjust the strength of the filter. I'm going to leave it at 100%. When you're done, tap on the check mark and export the photo. Here's a side-by-side -side comparison of the two filters plus the original photo. Which filter do you think looks best? Leave a comment below and let me know. If you upgrade to a pro version, you get no ads. You can have access to every filter pack or other assets that InShot provides. This includes new ones when the app's updated. So upgrading is definitely worth it. If you don't want to upgrade but you need access to a full mobile editing app, you can use CapCut. Check out the tutorials link in the description or the YouTube card on screen now. CapCut is totally free and there are no in-app purchases or paid features. It works on iOS and Android. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you next time.